Mouth of Serenity, Part 3, by Robert J. Morris. She calls out again, but this time, I'm unsure if it's in my sleep or in my waking night. White kites floating in the still air in front of the bright full moon, connected to those jagged teeth, silently floating on their glistening pads of calm liquid. There is nothing to say as I stand speechless, trying to interpret what I believe to be a dream. I don't know what to think, but if I am dreaming, then my brain's doing the thinking for me. If I'm off the hook, then why am I dreaming such a dream? It's like a subconscious apology that I have finally received, for I have ventured near the mouth of serenity. I have survived your grip, or is this just a ploy to bring me closer, to bring me back to self-destruction? Could it be that I may find salvation, or is it damnation, or does she simply want me back to observe, without judgment or bias, and with clear clarity? It's so unclear now that I am once again afraid. I have seen her wrath and I have read the journals of those that are no longer, the same ones who perished in those clutches, in the mouth of serenity.